Hey, how's it going? So today we're unboxing a car chat. This model is Discovery T12. It's an awesome, uh, huge uh, 2K, 2.5K, 12 inch LCD, oh, IPS 11.66 uh, inch rear mirror. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open here. I actually have one now, a different brand, and I wanted to upgrade to this because I wanted it just a little bit sharper. LCD for my rear mirror, and this one checks all the boxes. So as you can see, the front camera resolution is a 2560 by 1440, so that's about you know 2.5K. And then the rear camera is a 1080p, all right? And it supports up to 128 uh, gig memory card. Obviously this one doesn't seem to come with one, so I'm gonna have to get a big one for myself. Again, this is the T12 model. And again, it's hard to see the emboss, the logo here, but here it is, car chat. Oh, here it is, car chat. All right. So if you don't know what these are, it's basically like a DVR for your car. It's constantly recording and it'll cycle through your memory card and it'll just keep recording. So if anything, you know, if you ever get in a car wreck or if a cop says you're speeding when you're not, then you'll have a video evidence of that. And you know, it's just nice safety thing to have. All right, so let's go ahead and take out this. Here, very nice and smoothie, so I don't touch the screen. Ooh, this has a nice weight to it. Oh, did I turn it on somehow on accident? Yeah, I guess I turned it on on an accident somehow. All right, I'm not sure what triggered it to turn on, but it turned on. And as you can see, it does have a battery. Yeah, I guess here's your on button, just like my other camera here. So here's the on button, here's the speaker. Here you can see is the bright wide angle. On top you have the USB. This is still the the macro uh, one, or is it the, they call it the mini USB? So this one I I kind of wish they upgraded updated that, but you know it's just fine. Here's the audio video. This is where you stick your memory card, and here's the GPS plug. So here's the speaker here. So I guess this will be the vent. Then here's the camera. I'll take off the sticker later, but uh, once I install it, I'll take off the sticker. I just don't want to get fingerprints all over it. But you're able to rotate this camera a little bit, just depending on you know how your mirror is mounted. You could go ahead and adjust it so you get the best angle out in front of your car. Okay, um, I guess I can go ahead and just peel off a little bit so you can see. I really don't, I don't want to get fingerprints all over this, but you know, it works very well. As you can see, here's my hand. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to turn this off. I'll put this to the side. Let's see what else we get in the box. This is a very nice uh, box, by the way. It's nice, thick cardboard and everything. Look at that, nice and thick. Okay, so. Here we have the long uh, cord so you can get your camera to the rear. And from there, you just plug this into your uh, reverse. You could usually I just plug into like my reverse light. So whenever I hit the reverse light, it'll trigger this and this would turn the camera on. All right. And this you'll plug into the camera as you can see. And th again, this is 1080p camera for your rear. Here is the plug to power it, and again it's a macro USB, or we call it mini USB, sorry. Here's your simple car charger. And on this side is your GPS unit, so you just peel this tape, stick it on your window. Usually I stick it, people stick it to the top right of their window, but you know, you can stick it wherever you want. And then of course you plug that into the GPS plug that I mentioned earlier. 
And here it comes with some accessories. So you can pry your, your molding around your windshield to your door frame. So you can stick the hide the wiring in your your by your window frame and all the way down to this side and all the way down by the glove box to the center console and then into the cigarette plug. That's usually how you mount these. Uh, it comes with the, these little rubber pieces which you wrap this around your mirror. So you just plug this right here and this would wrap around your mirror and then you clamp it onto this side and that's it. And these two rubber uh, would just hold this against the mirror and it has rubber feet here to prevent it from vibrating too much which I like that's a nice touch but that's it you just strap it in with with this and that's it plug it into your ashtray and if you want you can hide your wiring but from there you're up and running I mean of course you gotta stick it in your memory card <laughs> but other than that you know I love these because it's very simple to install. You don't need a mechanic or you, you don't need to pay anyone to install anything for you. And it's just quick and easy. And it comes with like a little more uh, 3M so you can stick it, the wires around, you know, hide your wires and then in your rear camera you always need to kind of channel your wires a little bit weird. So, so it comes with a lot of extra accessories to mount your stuff which I like. Of course, the, here's the manual card with the with the warranty but yeah I'm, I'm not really worried about that all right so again it comes with the DC plug it comes with the GPS unit and of course you get the rear camera with the long cable here so so you're able to mount this in your rear trunk and that's about it I'm gonna put everything back in the box shuffle it around a little bit shuffle, shuffle. Put it in the foam. And this is a very nice package. Look at the dense foam that they use. I like that a lot. It's very nice. All right, put the mirror in right here. And then I'm gonna take this out and install it in my car. And I can do a follow-up video afterwards. All right. Again, this is the 12 inch mirror uh, DVR for your car from Carchet. It has a 2.5K sensor and a uh, 1080p reverse camera in the back, your backup camera. It has a smart backup feature, so it kind of puts grids on the floor for you. So whenever you're, you are reversing, it kind of gives you a grid to kind of let you know about how far away you are. It's not as accurate as actually sensors built into your bumper, but at least having the mirror there, you're able to kind of guess and figure out exactly how much more you have when you need to reverse. So I like that that this has that, that newer feature that some mirrors don't. Again, this model is the Discovery T12 from Carchet. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.